I don't care who you are. You need to play the Godfather game. Everyone needs to play the Godfather The Dons Edition. It's my number one favorite Mafia game. Sorry, Mafia 2. If the 2K Mafia franchise and the Saints Row franchise had a baby, then you would get the Godfather video game. The Godfather game makes you feel like you're actually in the Mafia. You start off as an enforcer, then work your way up to an associate, soldier, capo regime, underboss, and finally to Don. And if you get 90% game completion, then you can become Don of New York City. You can also customize your character's weight, skin color, face, etc. And you can pick and choose what outfit your character can wear. The Godfather game has a lot of customizability when it comes to the player and clothing. You should know there are many versions of the Godfather video game. There's a PS2 version, an Xbox version, a PSP version, a PC version, a Wii version, and a PS3 version. So which version should you play? Which is the best one? Well, I'm here to tell you that the PS3 version is the best version hands down. Ignore that the other versions exist and just play the PS3 version, the Don's edition. The PS3 version has better graphics, three new story missions, new melee weapons, new side missions, a new weather template where it rains, and so much more. If you want the complete experience, then play The Godfather, The Don's Edition, which is basically like the director's cut or the definitive edition. The only tragic thing about this awesome game is that you can't buy it anymore. The Godfather license given to EA Games by Paramount was for a certain duration, and that time is unfortunately over. This means you can no longer buy the Godfather video game online digitally. Because EA Games is no longer in possession of the Godfather license, by law they can't produce or sell new copies. Your only choice is to buy a second-hand copy at a very high price. And even if you manage to get your hands on a physical copy of the Don's Edition, there are still five DLCs that are not included. And since EA Games no longer has the Godfather license, you can't purchase these DLCs on the PlayStation Store. The Mob Face Apparel Bundle DLC adds a leather jacket, two hats, and two glasses to the tailor shop. The Favor Pack DLC adds three favor missions. The Hired Assassin DLC allows you to hire a level 5 crew member for $10,000 to follow you around and be your bodyguard. You can hire him as many times as you want. The In-Game Money Bundle DLC gives you $400,000 to start off in the game. This may seem like a lot of money, but the weapon upgrades are insanely expensive. If for some reason you want to get rid of the $400,000, you can hire the level 5 crew member 40 times. Speaking of weapons, the fifth and final DLC is the Level 4 Weapons Bundle DLC. This allows you to upgrade your pistol, revolver, machine gun, magnum, and shotgun to Level 4. In this video, I will teach you how you can install the Godfather The Dons Edition on your PC and play it in 4K resolution 60fps with all the DLCs for free. This tutorial is very easy. You don't even need to buy a PlayStation controller. You can use your Xbox 360 controller if you have it lying around. You can even go a step further and play this game with a mouse and keyboard. However, if you decide to play the game using a non-PlayStation controller, then make sure to check out my Don's Edition playlist where I used an Xbox 360 controller. Some missions require you to use 6-axis, but I bypass the 6-axis prompts. So if you're stuck on a level that requires a dual shock controller, just check out what I did on my Don's Edition playlist. It's 100% possible to beat the game without a PlayStation controller. Now before you attempt this tutorial, make sure your desktop or laptop has a graphics card. If your PC isn't a gaming PC, then odds are you won't be able to run this game smoothly. You don't need a powerful gaming PC to run this game. Here are the recommended and minimum requirements. The first step of this tutorial is to download 7-Zip or WinRAR to extract zipped folders. I will have the links for everything you need in the description below. The second step is to download RPCS3, the PS3 emulator. Once downloaded, right-click on the file, hover over 7-Zip and click on Extract to RPCS3. Once the folder is extracted, you can delete the original zipped file. Open the newly added folder and run the RPCS3 application. Create a desktop icon and start menu if you wish. Next, click on the box that says you have read the Quick Start Guide. The third step is to download the PlayStation 3 firmware. 
you need a PS3 operating system in order to play PS3 games. You can find the firmware on PlayStation's official website. Scroll down to where it says Update Using a Computer and click on it. Next, right-click on the Download PS3 Update button and click Copy Link. Open a new tab, paste the link and press Enter. Once the file is downloaded, open RPCS3 and go to File and Install Firmware. Locate the firmware you just downloaded and press Enter. A window will pop up saying Compiling PPU Modules. Just give it a couple seconds. Wait for it to finish. The fourth step is to download the Godfather The Dons Edition. For legal reasons, I would say dump your physical game's ISO, but since it's impossible to purchase the game from EA Games due to the license being expired, you're going to have to sail the seven seas with me and become a pirate. To download the game, search The Godfather The Dons Edition ISO on any search engine. A bunch of results will appear. I'll provide a link in the description below, but it might take forever to download because everyone that watches this video will also be trying to download the game at the same time as you. Anyways, after you find a site and download the game, open RPCS3 and click on File, then Add Games. Locate your Godfather game folder and press Enter. You should see the game appear in your library. The fifth and final step is to download all the DLCs for this game. Shout out to Catalink for dumping all the DLCs. To download the DLCs, join my Discord server. This is the largest Godfather game community. We talk about the Godfather 1 and 2 video games daily. Once you join my Discord, go to the Godfather games channel and click on the pinned messages icon. You should see all Godfather 1 and 2 DLCs pinned. Go ahead and download the Godfather 1 DLCs for PS3 Zip. After it's downloaded, unzip the folder. Next, open RPCS3 and go to File, Install Packages. Locate your DLCs folder and make your way inside to the multiple folders. You have to select the folder that matches the version of your game. If you don't know what game version you have, RPCS3 tells you under the Serial column. Select the folder that corresponds with the version of your game, then open the package inside. A window will pop up and ask if you want to install this package. Click Yes. On a side note, if you already own a physical copy of the Dons Edition for your PS3, you can install these DLCs using a USB flash drive. You just have to jailbreak your PS3. To learn how to jailbreak your PS3, go look it up on YouTube because I don't know how. Now that you installed all the DLCs, you're almost ready to play the Godfather the Dons Edition. We just have to change the resolution and FPS. PlayStation 3 games are 720p in resolution at 30 frames per second. The emulator allows you to play at a higher resolution and frame rate. You can play at 4K resolution 60 frames per second, just like I did for my Dons Edition walkthrough. To do this, on the top go to the Configuration tab. Then click GPU. If you have a 4K monitor, go ahead and change resolution scale to 300%. If you have a 1440p monitor, change it to 200%. And if you have a 1080p monitor, change it to 150%. Select the resolution that matches your monitor, then press Apply and Save. And make sure to enable VSync if you don't want the screen tearing while playing. Your game will now look much better than the standard PS3 version. And to play at 60 frames per second, right-click on the game and click on Manage Game Patches. It will say, New patches are available. Do you want to update? Click Yes. Then click on the drop-down menu until you see 60 FPS. Tick the box, then click Apply and Save. You can now play the Dons Edition in 60 frames per second. Before you launch the game, you have to set up your controller. In RPCS3, go to the Pads tab. In the Player 1 selection, under Handlers, you'll see Keyboard. It's possible to play this game with your keyboard, but you'll have to create your own custom configuration. If you have an Xbox controller plugged in your PC, change it from keyboard to X input. And if you have a PS3 controller, then change it to DualShock 3. Once you're satisfied, click Save and launch the game. After you launch the game, RPCS3 will compile the PPU modules. If for some reason it freezes during this part, 
Simply exit the game and right-click on the game, then hover over Remove and click Remove All Caches. Relaunch the game and it should fix the stuck on compiling PPU modules issue. And if you want to get rid of the annoying compiling shaders overlay, launch RPCS3 and go to Configuration Emulator. Uncheck the box that says Show Shader Compilation Hint, then click Apply and Save. And if you want to bypass the unskippable 38-second intro video that plays every time you launch the game, go to your Godfather Game ISO folder location and locate the Movies folder. Find the file named load underscore en and delete it. This will bypass the unskippable 38-second video next time you launch the game. And if you want a 100% save file of all story missions, then go to Nexus Mods and download my saves for RPCS3. Link is in the description below. I should warn you there is one bug with the emulator where the game will freeze randomly. My recommendation is to create a save state immediately after completing a mission. Hold Ctrl and S to create a save state and rename the save state to whatever you want. This will be your safety net in case you forgot to save in game after playing for hours. The good news is the game doesn't freeze that often due to RPCS3 being updated constantly. However, if your game does freeze, you can just exit RPCS3 and load your previous save state. It's better to be safe than sorry. And that concludes The Godfather, the Don's Edition installation tutorial video. If you're a fan of the Godfather movies, video games, or Mafia games in general, then join the Mafia Game Community Discord server. We're active every single day, and we have an entire channel dedicated to the Godfather games. So if you're stuck on a level or need some assistance, our users will be more than happy to lend a helping hand. Feel free to discuss the Godfather game and upload in-game screenshots of your unique character. Everyone is welcome. Invite link is in the description below. And if you haven't already, Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more Mafia game content. Thank you.